have a new tutorial we're going to go over today. Um, I think this would classify under the how to be efficient when working in Illustrator. Uh, we're going to talk about and, and show you how to set up automated actions. And if you use Photoshop at all, you're probably already familiar with actions, um, but a lot of people don't realize that you can record and save actions in Illustrator as well. So let's start by bringing up our actions tool window. Um, it can be found under window and then actions. <clears throat> Let me bring it right out here so everybody can see it. Um, so when you first start with actions you'll notice that you have a folder or a set of actions that just they're called default actions they come standard in Illustrator you don't have to download them or install them um, they're just they just come with Illustrator so you can go ahead and and look through these um, each one of them has a title kind of a description of what the action does um, let's just look at this first one opacity 60% if you turn it down or turn down the little arrow it will show you the different steps this one only has has one and it's just setting the opacity at 60% so if we were to draw a black box instead of going to um, window and then down to transparency and changing your opacity to 60% <clears throat> we could hit this action select the action and then hit go down at the very bottom and hit the play button and it will automatically switch it to 60% so you know this one isn't that wow it doesn't have a wow factor because it's really only one command but you can see it still saved us time and if you use Illustrator, depending on what you use Illustrator for, actions can save you a ton of time. It can do, you know, 50 different commands in one click of a button. So um, I want to get you a little bit familiar with how to use and set them up so that you can incorporate them into your workflow. Um, so go ahead and play around with the def the set of default actions. There might be some in there that already set up that you can use. Um, this ref let's look at this reflect horizontal. So if I I'll demonstrate this one. If I typed my name and let's get that nice and big, and then I click on the reflect horizontal action and hit play it's going to automatically flip my name and mirror it um, so that's kind of a fun one the actual tool that does that is over here um, it's got these two arrows if you hit the reflect tool and then you click on your design or your type and drag it down it does the same thing but again it was faster using the action so um, <clears throat> let's I'll show you how to set up your own action if you start to realize that you're constantly doing the same command over and over and over um, that's when you should start it should start clicking in your head oh I should set up an action for this because then you can just record it and click a button and it'll do everything for you so Let's say that I have, I'm going to create a pattern quickly here. It's going to be pretty basic because I just <clears throat> want to show you how to set up an action. So I have a pattern here <clears throat> and I turned my rulers on because I want to be able to measure Let's get that lined up a little bit there. So we are going to hide these, all these default actions in our window. And we're going to make a new action set because 
you'll want to keep your own actions that you record separate from the default actions. Um, so we're going to make a new folder to file ours under. If we just go to the, the little square in the upper right hand corner and click, you're going to do a create new set. And let's just name it my actions. Okay, so now we have our own little folder and we want to create a new action. So go back up to the right hand corner and hit new action. And this is where we just kind of type in a little info about our action. I'm going to call this one repeat pattern. And I want it to save in my actions, so I have that selected. And then <clears throat> you can also assign a function key, which is really handy, so you don't have to go over to your window and hit play. You can just assign, we're going to assign, assign function F2. So now, after we record this action, all we have to do is press F2, and it will play. Um, and if you want, if you're super organized and you want to organize your um, actions <clears throat> by colors, then uh, feel free to do so. I'm not that organized. But now we're going to hit record. And then we're going to just do the steps that we want our um, action to do. And it's going to record our steps as we go. So I want to repeat this pattern across my page. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out how wide it is by dragging using the crosshairs in my the upper left hand of my ruler. I'm going to place those crosshairs in the very left edge and the very top. There we go. So then now I can see that my pattern is about one and a half inches wide and we're going to give it just a little bit more. So I'm going to do one and three quarters. Um, okay, so I want to move this across, so I am going to hit return or hit the enter button to bring my move palette up, and I'm going to move my selection one point, I'm going to do six five, just to get a little less space in between, one point six five, I don't want to move it vertically, <clears throat> I don't need to angle it. Um, let's hit the preview just to make sure. Looks about right. It looks like maybe a little too far. Let's go 1.5. Preview. There we go. Okay. And you can always come back and adjust this, but then we're going to hit the copy button so that it makes a copy of our selection. Copy. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to do that again because we want it to go all the way across the page. So we're going to hit enter and we're going to hit copy. Enter, copy, one more. Enter, copy. There we go. So now we are done with what we want our action to do. So we're going to go over to our action palette and hit the stop button, which is the far left square. Stop. And it, you can see up here, um, it says the name of our action, repeat pattern, and then it has all the commands. So we did a move, a move, a move, and a move. So now we're going to close that up and I'm going to delete what we did. I'm going to select and now prepare to be amazed. I'm going to hit the F2 button and it's going to spread them all out. So here we go, F2. And there we go. So you can see how much quicker that was. So now next time when we make a pattern or want to um, repeat a pattern. Let's just draw one here. We can create create. Okay, let's just do this. So we're going to select that. We're going to hit F2 and boom. It goes all the way across. So I I would like to think that in the long run, saving all those seconds would save us all a heap of time, depending on um, what you are using Illustrator for. So keep that in the back of your head. Mm -hmm.